Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Today I have something from Berry Brothers and Rude. Hmm. Wine and Spirits Merchants, 3rd St. James Street, London. Single malt Irish whiskey, 10 year old. Notes of fresh apple and vanilla spice, the classic range. Ooh, approved by the spirits buyer, Doug McIver, as well as the brand heritage, heritage director, Ronnie Cox. 44.2% uh, ABV. I paid €42.90 Euros 90 for this, so it was about a $60 bottle of Irish whiskey from the Cooley Distillery. We know Cooley because Jack Cooley started this, sold it then to Beam, and then later it became Centauri. Um, and he started with his sons, basically then Teeling um, in Dublin, as well as the Great Northern Distillery is where Jack still is involved. Now, I've had a lot of Cooley spirits in my career. Um, to be very, very honest, I was hoping to have a little bit something different, but nice cork. Uh, why did I buy this bottle? You can almost hear the disappointment in my voice already, I hope. Now, number one, I discovered Berry Brothers and Rudd um, for my personal pleasure. They have a very nice, cheaper... Um, cherry bomb blend and some other interesting bottlings as well they are actually more of a wine and then a spirit merchant but they're coming more and more into the spirit arena i think since 2008 they've been on the way and so i said why not and i was buying a package anyways and i had a certain limit i had had like 150 euros and i was like oh i'm missing 30 euros throw this in here why not um and that was a little bit of my problem here on the back it says here with two royal warrants and over 300 years of history, Berry Brothers and Rudd is Britain's original, original wine and spirits merchant. Family owned and run, the company still trades from number three St. James Street, its home since 1869. That is amazing, to be honest. America was 1776, right? 1890. 98 is a long time. WWWBBR yeah, for the um, for the Berry Brothers and Rudd. So um, I always compare things. So what am I going to do? I'm going to compare it with a 10 year old Irish whiskey, Canahan's single malt Irish whiskey, 10 years old. This though is 46 percent. Now um, I personally think this comes from the Bushmills Distillery. I personally did not know that Bushmill doesn't just do a triple distill, but sometimes only a double distilled. My whole entire structure of Irish whiskey in my head collapsed like a house of cards after finding out that fact. So it's difficult sometimes to decipher between the two, between the coolies and between the Bushmills. Um, the nose. I'd be able to pick out a Cooley spirit from a hundred different things. It's like, like Cooley, next. I mean, it's just so burned into my long-term memory. It's no longer, <laughs> it's no longer nice. Um, yes, it's apples, but it's those crab apples. It's those green, young apples. There is a little faint hint of a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of barrel spice. Um, but there's not much. It's just one constant. It's almost as if someone was playing the trombone and went. And uh, it's just a very loud, not very harmonious sound. In comparison, our can of hands. We got some spice. We got more vanilla. We've got some cream. We've got a lot more of a roundedness around this. This is really nice stuff. Um. Bushmills, Sixton, nice if you like cherry. I actually compared the two of them in the German video and it's like, oh, they're sisters and brothers. This has the cherry finish. This is not as old as 10-year-old, but yet they're very, very similar. Bushmills has the concept today. 
they were taken they were traded over by um diageo for a with a tequila um manufacturer with mexico and the mexicans kind of didn't know what to do with bushmills at least my personal opinion for the first couple of years but now they have actually a battle plan um proper 12 from bushmills we want to have a whiskey that will take on jameson bushmills never was able to do that proper 12 I don't think so, but that's their plan. Second of all, they have fancy bottles and they have interesting whiskey with Sixten. Hey, bartenders, use us. This is cool. This is this is très chic. Uh, this is hip. This is um, whatever is the words we use today. Use that. And they have a couple other things as well as their standard range. All right. So Kinahans is basically for me a source product then from Bushmills. It's not bad. It's just I've had this before and before and before and before. And don't forget, in Ireland, we basically had three places where you could do whiskey until 2000, I'm going to say five. You had Middleton. They didn't really give any of their casts to anyone else. You had Bushmills. They did. And you had Cooley which later was Jack Teeling with his son John that founded the um, Teely, Dis Teeling Distillery. Jack went up to the Great Northern Distillery and did that. And so um, all those 40,000 casts that he kept with his transaction actually have been used to create a variety of different names in the Irish world. Just to name a few, St. Patrick's Whiskey, Sourced Whiskey. Um... Titanic, Titanic. Uh, I gave a sample of that five-year-old to Food Quick um, Source, the Wild Geese Source Whiskey, the Quiet Man Source Whiskey, the Pogue so Source Whiskey from West Cork, um, Temple Bar Source Whiskey, Spade and Bushel Bushel Source Whiskey, Slain Castle Source Whiskey, um, Roe and Cole Co Source Whiskey. Retronaut, Source Whiskey, Proper Number 12, Source Whiskey, Prize Fighter, Source Whiskey, Pierce, Source Whiskey, if it's not um, anything over three, five years old, Lamb Bay, Source Whiskey, um, Jack Ryan, Source Whiskey, All the Hyde, Source Whiskey, Glendaloch, Source Whiskey, Flaming Pig, Source Whiskey, Dunville's, All Them, Source Whiskey, Dead Rabbit, Source Whiskey, um, Clona Kilty, still source whiskeys. Uh, what else do we have here? Brothership, source whiskey. Uh, even these things over here, the Bar uh, Uche is a source whiskey. Just to name some or many that I actually have in my collection already. They're all source whiskeys from one of those three distilleries. And the majority of them come from Cooley and taste almost exactly identical. And it's really the question of why did I buy that other bottle? Ah, mistakes, mistakes, mistakes we made. This is actually Kinahan's. It's nice. The 10-year-old. Mmm. Mmm. Really a nice bottle. Um, what surprised me the most is this made it to Canada before it originally made it to Germany. So I bought my bottle here. You can see the UK um, tax sticker still on here um, from the U from Ireland. Um, I'm not sure if I bought it from Ireland. I must have bought it from the whiskey exchange then from the UK. Um, Dublin, they don't have to put the UK stickers on there. That's why I'm a little bit like, did I really buy it from the, from Ireland? And um, the second thing was really amazing is I did my videos that came out in Ireland almost simultaneous with Food Quick in Canada, which was very, very interesting. About two years ago, to be honest. All right, very, very good. So my question of the day, I just named and rattled off, rattled off a lot of different independent bottlers. Let's call them... Um, from Ireland. Of these, which one do you personally believe is the best? Um, not the ones that are actually having their own distilleries. Killa, killa, I'm sorry. Um, Clana Kilty have their own distillery. Uh, Pierce Lyons have their own distillery. A few of these actually have built their distilleries. Um, Spade and Bushel have their own distillery. Connacht. 
Uh, these are just the question of the brands that are using the spirit from the others and continue to want to use that spirit. I personally think St. Patrick is a whiskey that has a great um, marketing. St. Patrick's in Ireland, come on. I mean, why didn't someone else make a, make a, a whiskey with that name, all right? So, thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe. Also, um, you can contact me at whiskeyjason at gmail.com. Uh, would I buy this again? Definitely not. This is for me a, a C minus and value for money D plus 45 or 42 euros for something I have back there for 25 euros. Ah. Um, we have supermarket whiskey from um, Ireland about seven years old tastes exactly the same. I can get that for 15 euros. I paid tr triple the price that I had to for this Hanging my head in shame. Sorry. Live and learn. Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an America. America um, publishing videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.